Uh, when we focus on one thing, we can miss obvious information that's going on in the periphery. And this isn't just true in the visual domain, though it's a fun way to illustrate it, it's true in all aspects of decision making. When you focus on one thing, your mind is very good at blocking out what it thinks of as noise. But that noise can sometimes actually be quite important. And uh, this is just one illustration of ways in which the human mind is actually imperfect. So the human mind is amazing, don't get me wrong, but economic models or traditional economic models say that we make decisions with absolutely perfect accuracy. We're like human calculators. So this is Captain Spock. I like to call him Dr. Spock, but an audience the other day corrected me and said he does not have a PhD. So let me be clear. <laughs> Captain Spock, who I would give an honorary doctorate if he were real, uh, he makes perfect decisions, right? But he is not an accurate representation of humanity. That's how economics has for decades modeled the way we make choices. On the other end of the spectrum, we have uh, someone like Homer Simpson, who can't make a good choice if it lands in his lap, right? So that's also an inaccurate model of humanity, that we make a mistake every time an opportunity arises to do so. What's more accurate is to say we're pretty reasonable people. We mostly make good decisions, but there are some times when we don't. Uh, in particular, I'm here I'm making fun of Brad Pitt's uh, facial hair. I don't think that was a particularly good choice. You could you know, pick the celebrity you wanted to stick in the middle and make fun of. Um, what, what we do as behavioral scientists and behavioral economists is we say, all right, let's acknowledge that humans are actually pretty good decision makers, but then find the predictable ways in which they make mistakes. And once we've done that, can we figure out how to help? 